Can you really convert your standard open differential on your BMW to a true LSD, a progressive rate LSD with clutches? Let's talk about it. There's a few pieces to this hardware. You have these clutch discs. You have springs for preload. You have some screws and retainers just for initial assembly. And you have these pieces themselves. So if you look at the installation manual for this, it shows you what you gotta do. When you're done, you're gonna end up with that piece inside your differential and it's gonna lock your spider gears to give you a claimed 25% preload lockup and a progressive rate 50% total lockup from what I've been told. So if you look at this, this is not a perfect circle. And anyone with a keen eye may say, well, hey, this looks just like a phantom grip from many years ago that people used to put in their Hondas and they would just basically destroy their front wheel drive transmissions and barely work, right? This company wanted to be really clear about the fact that even though this just resembles a phantom grip, it goes in in a similar style it's quite different because these springs were the only thing you'd get on a phantom grip in terms of preload that's all you'd have with this they, they have a ramp angle if you notice so what that means is centrifugal force is going to be your friend here to help so the, the idea with the ramp angle is your diff pin goes through the middle here and centrifugal force is you know you're going to remove this eventually it's not going to be part of the equation and centrifugal force is going to cause them to go this way the pin's going to ride up on this angle and it's going to ride up on this angle and kind of give you like a rotational ramp angle to progressively with inertia press up against your gears to lock up okay so that's one thing that makes this different it makes it relatively smooth it has a 25 percent uh, lockup similar to your oem lsd options that come from bmw from zf etc but uh, it is a conversion kit for a standard diff, yet it's still progressive rate. This is kind of how uh, a standard LSD works. It's a little different on a, on a standard LSD. The rotational inertia will kind of cause this to spread this way, right? You'll, this will be your diff pin, and it'll go that way to lock up. The way this is gonna work is, as you have uh, rotational inertia, it's gonna kind of go like this. Diff pin stays stationary, and then this thing's gonna from what I've understood, lock up against the gears. Now, what's different about this is you have these clutch discs that are made of the same material as you'd get on a standard LSD from what I've been told. And the idea with this is if you use proper LSD fluid, they'll not degrade, they'll not break down. And this is for a rear wheel drive diff anyway. Worst case, if this did come apart, it would just um, wear out a relatively cheap differential. It's nothing like the Phantom Grips, really. The Phantom Grips didn't have anything here at all. It was just flat metal going right to the gear, and all you had is this preload to create lockup. Pretty easy to overcome. But the fact that this is a progressive rate conversion means that you get relatively smooth OEM feel, yet it still um, gives you up to a 50% lock at full lock. So it's a, kind of a new concept, actually. And uh, it's pretty cool, all things considered. When you use LSD fluid with this, these actually bite up against here and then they bite up against your gear to give you a nice smooth lockup without any metal shavings or degradation. So it technically should last a very long time. I have a 2008 335i with over 500 foot-pounds of torque at the wheels. So if anything, I'll be able to test this really thoroughly. It's going to take some minor modification, but I'm going to follow up with an install video and a demonstration video. So to put it out there, I bought this with my own money. And the company, if they like this video, they may choose to send me the money back for the part just as a thank you, but no expectations here. I'm free to say what I wanna say, but I'm very interested in this product. It looks quite cool. So this company is actually based out of Serbia and I bought it from them and they shipped it air freight. You can see some of the stuff they do, pretty cool. Now, something to consider. This product came out last year and there was some uh, interest on it uh, from what I can tell. 
but nobody's really pulled the trigger and shown how to retrofit this. Something to keep in mind for you 335i guys with an automatic transmission, you're gonna have a standard smaller housing differential and it will actually bolt up. Your ring gear here will bolt up. So it will be much easier to do. If you have a, a, a manual 335i, it has a bigger differential and that means you're gonna have to get this ring gear cut off, machined off and re-welded. So you know what? It could be a little more tricky. It's still doable and you can get a pretty cool conversion, but you're not gonna be able to do this for a couple hundred bucks with your time. You probably have to take it to a machine shop, but it's still a viable, cost-effective way to get a pretty cool uh, LSD conversion for your car. But I have a 335i with an automatic and I'm gonna be able to do this at home and I'm gonna show you guys how to do it. So a couple of modifications. Th these spider gears are gonna have to be removed and ground down by a couple of millimeters so that your overall distance here becomes 30 mm. So I believe on some cars it's only half a millimeter. It's up to a couple millimeters. You can use a bench grinder or whatnot to, and then get that, make sure it's dead level after you're done. So these can butt up against there. And your, your input shaft here, you're gonna have to cut off four millimeters. So I'm gonna try all this at home. I should be able to just go to Harbor Freight and get a grinder and get uh, an angle grinder holder jig to actually slice that and then use a, a die grinder or something to create the, the proper angle for insertion after. So, you know, not for the faint of heart, but it's definitely gonna be doable. I'll, I'll, once I'm done, I'm hoping to have spent a total of maybe $300 with this hardware here and the tools that I'll own after the bench grinder and the angle grinder and jig as well as buying the fluid and have a proper LSD conversion for my 335i. So I thought you guys would be really interested in this product. Um, I'm actually in talks with them about maybe buying a few of these and helping them distribute it in the US and maybe getting you guys a discount. So if this is interesting to you, then definitely chime in in the comments and let me know. And of course, I'll be doing the full follow-up video with installation and showing you if it's working or not. So I'm sure at that time you guys can let me know what you think. But for now, I'm intrigued by this. I think it's pretty neat. I thought you guys would find it interesting if you want to convert your car to have a proper LSD for the most part here. Um, you can do it with your time if you already have the tools for $250 from the looks of it. So thanks for watching and look out for that follow-up video soon. Let's go.